Hey boys and girls, welcome back. Um, the Apostle Paul wrote several books of the Bible, and most of the books that he wrote were actually letters that he wrote to churches, encouraging them um, to follow and live the lifestyle that uh, Jesus taught them about. And one of the letters that he wrote is the book of Ephesians, and it was written to the church of Ephesus. That's a tongue twister to say there. And the important thing to remember about this book is Paul actually wrote it while he was in prison. And the verse we're going to talk about today is one of our rules for life, which is use your words wisely. So I want to read the verse that Paul wrote. This comes from Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29. Let no unwholesome word proceed from your mouth, but only such a word as is good and edifying edifying according to the needs at the moment, so that this will give you grace to those who hear it. Boys and girls, words are so important. Words can actually do three things. They can build someone up, tear someone down, or actually repair a relationship. And we don't always talk about the repair part, but let's start with the build people up. Have you ever had a bad day and someone just comes up to you and says, oh, your hair looks really nice today, or your outfit looks really nice, or wow, you kicked that soccer ball so far. Those nice words, those um, encouraging words, they help to change your whole attitude and they make you feel really good about yourself. And sometimes even when you're having a bad day, encouraging someone else and saying nice words to someone else actually cheers you up a little bit too. So as you go through your week, think about what words you can choose to build someone up. And yes, that means brothers and sisters as well as mom and dad. You can use your words to build someone up and help them have a good day. Now, the opposite is also true. You can use your words to tear someone down. You can say mean things. You could say hurtful things. Sometimes we say sarcastic things and we say it in a way that's meant to be funny but it really does hurt someone else's feelings. And you know how that makes you feel when someone says hurtful things to you. So be real careful. You don't wanna use your words to tear anyone down. The third thing that words do is repair. That's kind of a funny word. Have you ever heard thought of the word sorry or unify or compromise? When we hurt someone, the best thing that we can do to repair that relationship is to say, I'm sorry. That makes you feel better and it makes the other person feel better. So if you have a bad day and you accidentally tear someone down with your words, think about words that you could say that could repair the relationship with them. So boys and girls, as you go about your um, week, Think about how you can use your words wisely. And let's think about what Paul said, that the words that come out of our mouth should be making other people feel better, feel better about themselves. So let's thank God for that. Father, thank you for words. Thank you that uh, words have power. Lord, please help us this week to use our words to build people up and to maybe repair broken relationships. And Father, those words that want to come out sometimes, that want to tear people down, I ask that you would close our mouth. I ask that you would prevent us from saying those words that would close, that would tear people down. Father, help this to be a week where we can find someone to build them up. Father, thank you for loving us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen.